Hey, welcome back to Open, everyone. So, uh, Pregones PRTT is proud to present We Have Ide, a new multidisciplinary theater work that explores true stories of immigrant Cuban artists living in the United States. The musical focuses on Latinx identity, including Afro-Cuban, by breaking down stereotypes and revealing the complexities of being black, immigrant, female, and bilingual. And joining us to tell us more about the musical, we welcome, we have Ire playwright Paul S. Flores, and we have Ire director Rosalba Rolón. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome. Hello. Hello thank How you. are you? Thank you for thank being here. Thank you for here. having us, Rina. Oh, of <laughs> course. Oh, my gosh. The magnificent work that Pregones PRTT has continues to share with our community is really priceless. Thank you. And so thank you for bringing it here on our set to share with our audience. I, I understand this play was um, actually was having a run in San Francisco and now mm -hmm. it's here in the Bronx. Yay. Yes. We love and, the Bronx. And um, you know, I love the title, We Have Ire. Mm -hmm. And we could start cool. there with sure. the word Ire because mm -hmm. I think the world could use more of Ire <laughs> right about now. <laughs> right yes, about now. <laughs> absolutely. Well, Ire comes from Yoruba, from uh, African uh, Nigerian area. And it refers to like a, a spiritual condition of a blessing or um, balance or when you're, you know, in step with your with your purpose and you receive blessings from your ancestors for doing what you're meant to be doing following your destiny and so this play is about um, a group of individuals <coughs> who happen to be at a party mm -hmm. and um, I haven't seen it yet but I I'm assuming that each story kind of steps out of the party yes All right. it does <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> So, um, and, and you know, I, I'm always in awe over your style of directing. So you. if you could just share, um, I guess, what you're implementing this round versus the previous round, because I know you've produced this before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and also from San Francisco's version as well. Well, it is, it is an incredible, uh, exciting mix of, 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 of identities of people. We have uh, Paul Asa, he's uh, half Cuban, <laughs> in San Francisco has cu half Cuban, and we're so immersed in understanding the Cubans of Miami, you know, I Cuban people in Miami, but in this, this round, I, I just have discovered, and Paul has ever discovered, the whole Cuban culture in San Francisco and Oakland in that uh, region of, of California. And, and so we have superstars like DJ Ladies, you know, uh, the first Afro Latinx uh, amazing star, uh, and DJ Jos Vani Terry, who's the composer, the master jazz player and sax player, and his band, and uh, dancers, and Bronx's Christine Cato, Bronx's own girl, who's playing um, one of the characters. And the idea is that all four stories of the four of the dancer, the musician, the poet, and the DJ are told on stage by other people and by themselves and also danced by amazing trio of dancers and live music, live band, four-piece band. So all of the stories sort of like um, are the, the, the usual story about, my goodness, I, I need to live or I, whatever it is. This is not about politics as much as the human journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, going from the campo in, in, in Cuba uh, to the small town, to the larger city, to Havana, and then realize you actually I can travel the world because the island is part of the world and, and how they, uh, you know, coincidentally find themselves all in San Francisco <laughs> and, become, and become friends and, and begin to reveal their journeys, um, some of them more, more dramatic and dangerous than others. And, and it's just mm, a beautiful, the beautiful show about the human spirit and what we all have in common. So, so the <laughs> idea of bringing the Bronx by Boricua to direct the show was just like, I'm so lucky. It was my dream. I, that was what I wanted. Because <laughs> there's a dynamic there That's as well. No, Cuba I, Puerto Rico son, I'm telling you, it's been, um, yeah. yeah. I've, <laughs> I've been following Pregones for like 15 years and um, since I saw La Pagón in another state. Right. And ever since that, mm -hmm. I watched that show, it was like, I want to do what they do on stage. And so it was me really trying to pursue the opportunity to get as close as I could to Pregones um, because I felt like their style of theater was what I wanted to do. Um, you know, being Cuban-American and, and not really seeing the, the style of Pregones theater anywhere else in the United States, I thought, like, they tell a story so well, so beautifully with an integration of music and storytelling that nobody else really does. Plus, it's bilingual, which is the way I write. Um, so having Ros Rosalba do this, you know, this is a 12-person cast, 
and not too many directors <laughs> can handle dancers, musicians, storytellers, video, um, live music, recorded music, DJs, Cubanos, <laughs> Puerto Ricans at the same time. Um, so th she was perfect for it. And I really wanted to work with, with Rosalba. So it was like, I have Yosvani who agreed to compose. And then I called Rosalba immediately after that. and said, okay, we got a show. Can you, are you interested in this? She's like, okay, let's do it. This is before we even had a story. It was like, this is who we're going to work with. So, it's, been, yeah. it's been a great ride. So we actually premiered in San Francisco and then uh, went to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. And now we're premiering in New York. And tonight, actually, uh, Friday, I want to say that uh, joining our, our, our colleagues from the Bronx, the proceeds of every ticket sold throughout the weekend, every soda, every glass of wine sold, all of it, 100%, is going to our uh, earthquake relief fund for Puerto Rico to support uh, artists in Puerto Rico in the region. People forget artists are people too. Right. And their families who have lost so much and, and see there are out there in the streets, you know, working with the children, making people feel a little better about what's going on. Uh, well, uh, they don't have a place to be. Right. So that is full out in going into some cash micro grants to the artists themselves. Mm -hmm. So tonight we have still seats available, sold out tomorrow and Sunday. But tomorrow, tonight we That's have it. Tonight so is tonight, it. Come tonight. <laughs> come tonight. Yeah. But but we're so nice. happy. And reception. Yeah. And a reception. And the party. Because we like to party. Of course. That's the whole what the whole place <laughs> about, right? Is it? It <laughs> is. Uh, that, that is. So there's a couple of new things we are adding for okay. the Bronx. We mm -hmm. we added a whole rap that Kristen gets to do, uh, which you know we have a strong hip hop tradition in the Bronx. So that's a that that number is really cool. You're gonna be surprised by it, um, and I think that that's a lot of fun. And, uh, right, because it sounds like it's, it's going to be eclectic, right? Well, yeah. Totally, everything. You got hip hop, totally. you've got jazz, yeah. you got salsa, you've got salsa, and, mm -hmm. and montunos, and and just just you know the uh, um, the, the DJ ladies uh, mixes is, is is from the core. Yeah, it's, it's from the mountains of Cuba. It's from the you know it's from the towns. So it's all that combination. Beautiful. And, and people Cuban get to dance. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. The audience gets to yeah, dance. Yes. Gets to you dance. know, it doesn't take much to invite me. <laughs> That's all you got to say. Those are the key words. Yep. It's like, all oh, the audience gets to participate. Yeah. yeah. We love A couple that. times. A couple times. Yeah. yeah, we have you doing a conga, and we have you doing salsa in the beginning. That's wonderful. When you come into the theater, you're coming into a party. <laughs> that's lovely. Really? So the audience is part of the party Absolutely. as well. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. And before we go, I want to ask you, like, what has that been for you to find that camaraderie with a Puerto Rican theater company being Cuban, representing the Cuban voice, and, and being able to execute um, with the authentic voice? Uh, well, I'm a poet, so to me, the New Yorican tradition of poetry is like just part of who, uh, who I am and how I write. So, you know, Tato La Viera, Victor Hernandez Cruz, Sandra Maria Estevez, all of those artists are already inside how I write. Those were, you know, some of them were my teachers, so it's like, it's natural for me to want to work with... Uh, Puerto Rican artists and, and uh, writers and creators. I don't really see a big difference, to be honest. Um, there are some things, like when you come to the show tonight or any time this weekend, you're going to hear the Cuban accent. That is a big, big thing. There is a difference between the way Cubanos speak and Puerto Ricans speak. And I was telling my two friends earlier, I was like, that's important for me that you hear Cubanos. Right. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of the aesthetic that you see tonight is very pregones, too. <laughs> uh, so it's like the Cuban pregones show. The Cuban <laughs> pregones show. <laughs> Wonderful way to wrap it up. Thank you both for bringing it Thank here to you. our audience. And once again, you guys, we have Ire will be performed at uh, Pregones PRTT Theater located at 575 Walton Avenue. For tickets, you can visit pregonesprtt.org. And once again, in light of the earthquake in Puerto Rico, Pregones PRTT and the creators of We Have Ire are design designating, excuse me, 100% of box office proceeds for this New York premiere towards emergency relief for artists in Puerto Rico. Funds will be dispersed um, in the form of micro grants to impacted artists. And uh, once again, Puerto Rico, estamos contigo. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear about a new art exhibition in the Bronx. Don't go anywhere.